The all new Nissan Juke is here. Its quirky looks have softened and equipment and technology levels have improved across the entire range. But will that be enough to win buyers in the fiercely competitive world of the small SUV? Let's check it out. It's been 10 years since the original Juke made its debut, and this more mature second generation offering now blends more seamlessly with other small SUVs, of which there are around 30 to choose from. With just one engine and transmission across the four models, it's equipment levels that really differentiate this bunch. So I'm in the entry level ST model, which has cloth trim seats, which are really comfortable and supportive, cup holders, good storage, all models have paddle shifters, and I'm glad to say that this eight inch touchscreen is common across all of the models. Also, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is standard across the range. We've jumped out of the entry level ST and into the STL, that's up two levels. And this is the car that Nissan thinks will be the volume seller, accounting for around 50% of Nissan Duke sales. Now it's at this level that some key differences creep in as the price rises, and that's things like push button start, drive modes and the electric park brake. You've also got nice part leather cloth seating which are really comfortable again. Now you'll find built-in satellite navigation, climate control and heated seats which you'll also find in the ST+. The top spec TI builds on all of that including leather and Alcantara seats and Alcantara trim throughout the cabin and then you've got the Bose premium audio system which includes really cool speakers in the headrests. The Nissan Duke has a five-star ANCAP safety rating and standard kit includes autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, lane departure warning and lane keep assist, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, traffic sign recognition, rear view camera and rear parking sensors. Higher grades gain front parking sensors, adaptive cruise control and a 360 degree camera as well as tire pressure monitoring. There are no visible badges to identify each of the four variants in the pecking order, but there are subtle exterior details such as 19-inch alloys for the STL and TI and a shark fin antenna on the TI only. The funny thing about small SUVs is that we still expect them to be as versatile as possible. And by versatile, I mean as big as possible. Now the Duke has grown dimensionally and all of the passengers will benefit from that, but it's likely to be this 422 litre boot that a lot of buyers will really appreciate. Now don't forget there's only one engine transmission on offer across all four models, but from the ST Plus up to the TI, you get drive modes. And when you flick it into sport mode, you really can feel it tighten up a bit and response improves. And so does the fun factor. The Duke's nimble handling and frugal engine are city car perfect and combined with the sort of comfort and space that says, let's get out of town. In fact, the biggest challenge for the Duke could be its keenly priced rivals. There's almost $10,000 separating the entry level from this top spec TI. So my advice would be get your pen out and go through that checklist to see the things that you want versus the stuff you really need. Bigger, better and less bruising on the eye, the tech-savvy new Nissan Duke is a major step forward in every area. Whether that makes it more popular among a sea of new rivals, only time will tell. <laughs>